What we've done, we've brought some work which originates in Cairo. It's a follow-up exhibition to one we did a couple of years ago here, uh, an exhibition by a group of men called the Tent Makers of Cairo. Um, we will have probably 20 or 30 pieces on display, and what we will be trying to do to help educate people about the art of the Tent Makers of Cairo is to demonstrate work of the different styles that they make, but also examples of work from the different uh, shops in the street of the tent makers in Cairo where there are about 20 shops now. I think it's, it's unique in a number of ways. First of all, it's a craft that goes back to the time of the pharaohs. Uh, you find um, applique uh, decorated clothing in the tomb of Tutankhamun, for example. Uh, there was a revival in the craft in the middle of the 19th century. Um, and they're called tent makers because their main activity at that stage was stitching decorative linings for tents that were used for special occasions. So sort of think wedding marquees or something like that, and you're actually not that far wide of the mark, although these tents tend to be very much larger than anything we might see in Britain these days. Uh, the men also used to make large decorative panels, which were used to create outdoor rooms where special events could be held. You might accept condolences, there might be a wedding or something like that. Um, the last decorated tent was made late 1960s and since then the guys have focused much more on smaller pieces which are more appropriate for decoration in the home. So they're basically creating wall art. We're looking at something that was a utilitarian craft. It was creating things that were for household use. That function, although still important in Cairo these days, um, is now fulfilled with printed fabric, which resembles the handmade applique work. And so what the guys have done, as many people do when their craft gets taken over by technology, they've moved to the art end of the spectrum. So they're now focusing on stitching things that have appeal as wall art, and focusing on improving the quality of what they're doing because some of the older pieces were really just sort of wallpaper they weren't meant to be examined in detail and it's quite easy to criticize them for the quality of their stitching whereas what the guys are stitching now is very much focused at the quality end of the market